live in the Rider TV workshop. No second takes, no rejigs, it is what it is. Let's see how we go. Let's have a look at these funnel web filters. See what the hype's about. See if they do the job. Right, we're going to talk about funnel web filters. Um, I just pulled the seat off Crash's bike. Uh, 10 days in the outback. That thing's fairly good. Got spuds in that. All right, well, I guess here's the moment. Truth. Fuck yeah. Got any doubt about how good this funnel web stuff is? That's the evidence alone for you, look at that. No springs. Nothing to stuff up. That's uh get out of light, yeah. Oh, it's a phone. Yeah, that's pretty good, eh? So yeah, it's a funnel web update for you. Alright, uh, so I've just done another screws and lifting this up now. Yeah, look at the way that seals. That's perfect. You can't convince me that that big, thick, non malleable rubber thing is going to seal. That's why you got to put grease on them. I'm uh, really happy with that. That's done a great job. Got to pull it up now. Yeah. So I've just pulled the filter out. You can see it's got a nice seal around there. All right, that's great. Nothing's gone through that filter. That stuff there's been tapped down from me um, and the stuff that's falling on the outside. Now that's one of the reasons people on the ride also said, oh, we're gonna change filters. We don't touch our filters during a ride because there's too much chance of knocking contaminants and stuff in. That filter's done a great job. They're great filters. That's a really, really good result in some solid, solid testing. So, yeah, definitely much better than the, um, much better than that edge, that, that thick rubber non you can't, your lid, you can't, you can't get that seal, you can't get that pressing ridge where it's sealed around on, on both sides. Much more surface area. No, that's done a great job. Really, really good job. Super impressed.